With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone. A ball whose density is 0.4 into 10 to the power 3 kilogram per meter cube falls in water from a height of 9 centimeter. To what depth does the ball sink? So if you see, if I say that this is the water surface and the water and the ball fall on the surface from a height of if you see 9 centimeter and let's say it goes up to a depth of x centimeter more into the water right this is height h and this is x and after traveling to x distance the ball stops right it started from here and it goes into the water up to a, up to a depth of x and then it stops we want this x right so if you see here the density of the ball is given let's say i took the mass is m right so if you see the ball started with zero velocity and end up with zero velocity it means that the net change in kinetic energy is zero and total work done will be also zero if you apply the work energy theorem you will write down the work done by gravity plus work done by buoyant force is equals to change in kinetic energy which is final minus initial kinetic energy final is zero initial is also zero right so it will be equals to zero so if you write down the work uh, done by gravity you can see that the ball total traveled this much in vertical direction it it is x h plus x and uh, x distance in water and uh, if you write down the buoyant force here it will be fully submerged right so i will write down rho liquid into total volume volume submerged will be equals to the total volume since v submerged is equals to the total v so i will write down this this will be the buoyant force here and if i write down the mass mass is the rho of the object into the volume so if i write down the work done by gravity it will be simply m g h plus x now if i talk about the work done by buoyant force now if you understand the concept the mg is acting in downward direction but the buoyant force by the liquid will act in upward direction whereas the displacement will be in downward direction so i will write down minus fb into x since it traveled x distance in the liquid right now you can put the value of buoyant force and this mg right so mg is we wrote here it uh, this m is rho into volume so i will write down rho object into volume into g h is 9 cm given in the question buoyant force i will write down rho liquid into the total volume since it is fully summered into g right x into x this will be the work done now if you see v z will get cancelled out rho liquid is 10 to the power 3 and rho object is already given in the question it is 0.4 into 10 to the power 3 9 minus this into x so if you divide this equation by 100 right you will write down this is 4 into this 4 into 9 plus x and if you divide it by 100 you will get 10x is equals to 0 so if you see this is 36 plus 4x so plus 4x minus 10x it will be minus 6x right so i will take this 6x on that side right so finally i will write down this x is equals to 6 centimeter and this is the answer of this question now you can check for the option 6 centimeter b is the correct answer thank you for class 6 to 12 itg and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today